Hey folks, hello again. Uh, welcome to my Facebook, YouTube channel. I'm just trying to promote my uh, Donald Jackson Art and Music Facebook page, so please leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of these vlogs. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my caricature work. I work at um, uh, over the summers doing caricatures at a local theme park, and I wanted to kind of show you a couple samples here. It's kind of fun to look at the actual person in the you know and compare the two caricatures I discovered were you know really took a little time to train myself and kind of get myself up to speed. I'm fortunate enough to work with people who are really exceptional caricature artists they that's all they do that's pretty much their career. I was quite shocked to know that you can make a career from doing caricatures. Um, but it's it's really quite a wonderful thing. It, it really brings a great deal of joy to people. Uh, it's a very fun social interaction. Um, as far as my uh, my view on caricatures, I would say that there is a a spectrum of realism to how should I say uh, likeness to cartooniness, I guess if you will. And so I my philosophy is really to go more for the likeness, whereas other people will go nuts with being even abstract to a degree in terms of you know making the face look really funny or weird depending on what it is um, that's every artist's prerogative anyway you know my feeling is that if someone's paying me to do a portrait I, I really feel that it's got to look like them I've seen occasions where a caricature artists would do a, a caricature and it was a great drawing it was really funny but the person just felt like, oh, I don't know, I'm, is my forehead that big? Or, you know, somehow or other, they didn't really jive with it. So I feel that it's a little safer to go with uh, caricatures that are more of a likeness of somebody. Um, typical with cartooning is, is the, the idea of the very graphic lines, um, exaggerations of things, you know. Eyes always being kind of big and glossy and that kind of thing, you know, rosy cheeks, big smiles, you know, it's it's something to kind of remember a fun day that, that people had together. Um, I stretched out a little bit more last summer where I was kind of exaggerating like the jowls on this guy, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I kind of, kind of look through these. Also, cartooning and caricature they kind of overlap, so I also do political cartoons. Uh, this is a really great thing if you want to get in touch with me to do any kind of political cartoons, even things that you could just put on a t-shirt or have as a logo on your website, feel free to contact me. Uh, for children, I think it's exceptionally special, you know, little kids get to, I don't know, there's something about their minds are, are more open and more imaginative, and so for them it's just such a blast to see themselves as a cartoon. Uh, they kind of, you know, live in a cartoon world per se, right? You know, they're always watching cartoons and stuff, so if, they're, if they have kind of a, a fear, oh, how's it going to turn out? I'll always say, well, this is what you would look like if you had your own cartoon. So it's kind of a fun thing. Um, all right, let's move on a little bit here. This is a Canadian guy I met. He uh, sort of needy. He he makes beats. He makes uh, like hip hop beats and all kinds of techno beats, EDM, and he sells it online and stuff. And so he wanted to have a, a funky caricature to put on his website. Very cool. I could see. I've seen things like that before. So if you'd like to have something like that done for yourself, contact me. I'll hook you up. Um, this is really fun to do. I mean, obviously he's got his little whatever, his little face concept here with this expression and whatever. Um, but, you, you know, if you look at his lips and these lips, you can see that they're the same shape, but these are more full. His nose is larger, for example. It's not that big, obviously, here. Uh, the, the eyebrows have a lot of uh, character, so that's kind of a fun, cool thing to do. Typically, in caricatures, you're always going to have kind of like the, the big head and the small shoulders. I love to accentuate the necks a lot, I think. It's kind of, uh, maybe I'm looking at too much Mondrian. That was an art joke. Um, okay, so here's uh, one of my coworkers from last summer. I loved her hair, you know, it was really neat. Uh, but she has a, a lot of character in her, in her face. She's actually Italian. 
Um, and so she just has a certain look to her, and the glasses and the whole thing. So I thought she was very pretty, and I, I'm not sure I captured the prettiness in here so much, but to me, beauty has a lot to do with character, and, and she's, she's got a lot of it. So this was fun. Um, you know, of course, little kids rule. I, I'm not sure I would just say this is my rule because I think this is ubiquitous in uh, caricature, in the business of caricature art, and that is that girls want to look good, they want to look pretty, and boys want to look funny. So it's okay to be a little funny and, and you know, be a little silly, but if you're drawing girls, you, you really want to generally go towards the making them pretty in some way. Um, I've had people disagree with me about that vehemently. Uh, I think that's maybe that's more uh, their personal philosophy or outlook on life. But you know, I would say that the you know the stats kind of prove me right in terms of my experience. Okay, family portraits, very hard to do, believe it or not, because you have X amount of space here, and you've got to fit them all in, and you've got to get it done in a fast manner. Kids don't like to sit still. You gotta, you know, you have to be social. You have to know how to talk to people, make them laugh, you know. And then for the family to watch each other being drawn, what a cool experience. That's just such a wonderful thing. So that, of course, is in a live scenario, you know, if I'm working at a benefit or wedding or et cetera, doing caricatures, it's a lot of fun to watch people draw. So generally, in a case like this, I would start with the outline of the head. And that way, you're kind of figuring in where are things going to go? How are they all going to match in? Um, you can see she's probably done first, and then she's sort of overlapping him here, overlapping the, the mother's hair over here. Okay, so those are kind of technical issues that you have to keep in mind. Uh, the big ears, you know, when you're drawing younger people, or, or old, well, this guy really had big ears, but, you know, all the better to hear you with. Um, so, but with little kids, it's kind of a fun thing. Uh, it sort of shows their age a bit as well. Uh, the faces tend to sort of occupy more of the space on the head as well. Anyway, kind of interesting. Uh, here I'm sort of all over the place. I think I was being a little experimental here. This kid is, I think, the most realistic, whereas here I elongated this guy's head and then I kind of made this one more sort of wider. And they loved it. You know, I think as an artist, from my point of view, this is really more me just kind of stretching out and playing around with uh, exaggeration. Okay, well, another family piece here. You have to realize, you know, people are paying money for this, a lot of money, and this is going to go in a frame on their wall. So, you know, you really want to, you want to respect the family. You want to make it so that it's something they can look at year after year. And, of course, the kids grow older, and they all remember that wonderful time we had together on that, that theme park, blah, blah, blah. Kind of fun. All right, and uh, this is a portrait of my buddy's kid. Uh, here I'm really having a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a super, super kid, fabulous kid, and, you know, has a good sense of humor, and, uh, you know, of course, the Superman shirt helped to make this more fun, but classic. I mean, if you look at his neck here, you can kind of see just the, the relationship of the proportions. Uh, he doesn't have ginormous ears, but putting them on here, you know, was kind of like a, I guess, an artistic choice, you know, to just make it more fun. Uh, he's got a, sort of a funky colic in his hair here. So all those little things like that, they're things that we remember people by. So, you know, if you're doing caricature art, that is a, a really cool thing to focus on. All right, you guys have a great day. Contact me if you would like to do a commission. I hope you have a wonderful day and Happy New Year.